This is problem number 8 from the August 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this question we've got a, a cell phone plan that charges a base fee of $62 and an oversized charge of $30 per gigabyte of data that exceeds 2 gigabytes. That's really important too. Um, if C represents the cost and G represents the total number of gigabytes of data, which equation could represent this plan when more than 2 gigabytes are used? So normally, um, when we're dealing with a base fee, that, that would be the $62, and then we would add um, $30 per gigabyte, which would be G, and that would be our equation normally. But the problem with this, the detail with this, is that um, they're only charged this extra amount if they exceed 2 gigabytes. So to try to figure out which one of these equations is true, um, we can tell right away, by the way, that number 1 and 2 are wrong because um, it's not 62 over here, it's 30. But yeah, I think a good way for which one of these is correct is to think of a hypothetical situation. So let's say um, a person act, um, uh, did used 4 gigabytes of data. Actually, let's say 5. 5 gigabytes of data instead of 3. So to find out how much they're going to get charged, they get the charge of the base rate of 62 plus $30 per gigabytes that was over 2. So because they used 5 total, that means they used an extra 3. So we would multiply this by 3. And we found that number by taking the amount of gigs they used and subtracting 2 from it. So hopefully you can see from that example that um, what we would do in each situation is you would take the number of gigs used, in this example 5, but in general, it would be G. And we would subtract 2 from it because 2 of those gigs are part of the covered in the plan. So the actual equation would be 62 plus 30 times G minus 2. And that is answer number 4. So I hope that made sense. And thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.